Hello Amazons, it's me and this is not a jewelry haul video. Um, I just wanted to do a quick informational video because I see a lot of false information floating around YouTube and I will link a article in the description box below. So even if you don't want to bother watching this video, please, please check out the article that I'm linking below as further proof of what I am saying in this video. So let me just jump right into it. This is a rare earth magnet. I forget what it's made out of, like neridium or something like that. You can get these off of eBay. Um, they're not too, too expensive. You can get them off of Amazon too. But I just want to show you guys that a magnet is not, or I repeat, not an accurate way to test jewelry. And if you're going to a jeweler um, who's testing jewelry with a magnet, they're not a good jeweler. Honestly, the only way to really test jewelry and get an accurate reading is a scratch test and acid test, which I will not be doing in this video, but I want to show you guys that the um, magnet test is not uh, genuine. So people will tell you that a magnet won't, won't stick to silver or gold. That's true, but it won't stick to pure silver or pure gold. And there's also other metals in the platinum and rhodium family that a metal will not, that a magnet will not stick to. Uh, most jewelry is not made out of pure metal or pure silver. Most objects are not made out of solid pure gold or pure silver. So there are people who just because something's magnetic will dismiss it and say that it's not real gold, it's not real silver. They'll tell you that gold never tarnishes. Um, that's only true about pure gold okay um, then just because something doesn't stick to a magnet doesn't mean it's real so here I have a random box of jewelry and so let's just see what this does okay so that stuck that stuck that's sticking look at that okay let's just dump it out and see what we've got here and I'll tell you which is which um, all right let me do this with one hand all right so obviously this is sticking now these are dollar earrings now as you can see it's not sticking to the back now these are cheap costume jewelry earrings and the magnet is not sticking it's only actually sticking to this part right here at the top which is like kind of weird but again this is why it's not accurate so it's not magnetic at certain parts but obviously the back of these earrings are not silver so we have a slight stick now with any piece of jewelry a magnet will always stick to the clasp that's another reason why this isn't accurate um i don't know what the jewelry clasp were made out of but there's a component that's not gold or silver and it'll always stick to whatever clasp you have but even here in the metal now this is a fine jewelry bracelet you've got a little bit of pull which means there's probably some um nickel or any of those other metals in there and I find that some of the older pieces of sterling silver will stick to magnets because they have um, nickel and other things in them because sterling silver is 925 the rest of it is not silver 925 isn't 100 uh, most jewelry is not 999 silver so didn't stick to this. This is a 14 karat gold ring. Didn't stick. Not sticking at all. But this is a cheap fake ring that came out of a candle. So again, you can't go by a magnet, okay? This came out of a jewelry candle. I know for a fact it's not real. Um, so let me move these objects. Now this ring came off of AliExpress, and as you can see the magnet is not sticking, 
But I know for a fact that this is not silver or gold. Yet this one, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's hallmarked 14 karat gold. Which again, some of these sellers from China are a little bit dangerous because they are falsely hallmarking jewelry as gold when it's not. You know if you pay $2 for a ring, it's not 14 karat gold. Same with this ring. Obviously, these are not real stones. There you go, it's stamped 14 karat. So again, it's stamped 14 karat. It's not sticking to a magnet, but there's just it's just not real. Like I can feel it, I can look at it and tell it's not real. So you guys really can't be listening to people telling you that to do magnet test. You have to take it to a pawn shop or a jeweler, let them do an acid test. Um, this ring. This was given to me by a lady and it's like Avon or something. It's not real. And again, it's not sticking. Now this, I know for a fact, is sterling silver. And as you can see, it's sticking to the metal. Now, the thing is, this is an older piece. And again, it's probably got um, nickel and other metals as part of the reason why it's only 925. And these are pieces that I've had tested so I know what they are. This is silver. Sometimes sterling silver, especially the older pieces, will stick to a magnet. Um, just because it's stamped Thailand doesn't mean it's fake. <laughs> um, this one isn't stamped. What is this one stamped? I don't know. This one is DBJ925. But again, this is really, really old, so it's sticking to a magnet. Here we go. Not sticking. Now, I know for a fact this is costume jewelry. <laughs> I bought it. I, know, I think it came from like Walmart like years ago. It's probably got a heavy gold plate to it. It's not sticking whatsoever. And there's no hallmark on it, which doesn't mean anything either. Because here's another piece of jewelry. Not sticking. There is no hallmark on this piece of jewelry whatsoever. Let me tell you about this bracelet. This bracelet, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got some tarnish to it right there. It was really tarnished before I cleaned it and there's no hallmarkings on it so I almost threw it in the garbage and then I said oh well, you know maybe it's copper and so I tried to clean it up then as I was cleaning it and scratching it and I feel how heavy it is I said hmm something's up with this bracelet I took it to a jeweler and she picked it up and she looked at it really funny she didn't think it was real either there's no hallmarkings on it whatsoever and this bracelet is older than I am so she tested it, it's solid gold. But the thing is, it's not 18 karat. So if you have gold and it's 10 karat or even 14 karat, if it sits long enough, it will tarnish. So again, you can't go by a magnet, you can't go by tarnish, you can't go by the fact that there's no hallmarks on something. When in doubt, test it. So yeah, that's solid gold. Here I have another 14 karat gold chain. And again, the clasp, they pull. Like they put little springs or something in these clasps and they are magnetic. So while it's not sticking to the rest of this chain, um, don't go like this and be like, oh, it's fake. That's just not necessarily the case. Here's a ring. Now obviously, okay, look. Now this is a cheap beauty supply store ring. I mean, it it won't even come off the magnet, okay? All right. So, I mean, sometimes, I mean, magnets are really hit or miss. Like, you really, there's the accuracy rate is, like, maybe 50%. And so, again, here's a piece. This is a charm. I don't remember where I got this from, but it was just like this. And it sticks not as intensely as the beauty supply store ring but it sticks yet if you look at it focus this charm has a genuine emerald set into it and the way it's made this is silver but again it's an old piece so it has a little stick to it and now here 
I have three silver bangles. They're all silver. These have been tested. They're sterling silver. But look what happens with the magnet. Sticks. Doesn't stick. Newer. Sticks. Older. So safe to say there might be nickel, copper, a little, even a little bit of aluminum. Now, I will tell you, if you have allergies and your silver doesn't stick, that's probably better for you, which means it's got low nickel, aluminum, or whatever other metals that they mix in to make sterling silver. Um, if it sticks, you may have a little bit of an allergy problem. But yeah, do not be listening to people on YouTube telling you that, oh, it's magnetic, it's not this, it must mean, no. Here is a solid silver cup, and it has like a little bit of a pull like it doesn't stick but it pulls um, this needs to be cleaned. this is my silver goblet um, it's from uh, Jerusalem so it's got different hall markings on it and it's super heavy and another way to test for silver again the magnet stuck a little bit ice silver melts, melts ice faster than other metals plus the sound that it makes let me see if I can, if I can ping it hold on Let me ping it. You guys hear that? It keeps ringing. So if it were silver plated, it wouldn't make that sound. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this video educational. I mean, you can get yourself a magnet if you want. You know, if it'll make you feel better. But honestly, a lot of people have been throwing away pieces of sterling silver especially and even pieces of like 10 karat gold because they go by the magnet test and it's just not accurate. You might have an older piece that contains nickel um, or, you know, a lot of pieces that are not rhodium plated. And then you have some people who um, are literally thinking that fake things are real, fake things especially from China because they might be stamped 14 karat gold and they are not sticking to magnets. So you really can't go by a magnet test, guys. Um, I would suggest either getting it, doing acid tests and getting you know the stuff to be able to do the scratch test. Or um, if you, like for me, there's a jeweler up the street so I can just go have stuff tested. You can go into any pawn shop and they'll test your jewelry, but you just have to be firm, uh, you know, because they, they'll try to buy your jewelry. And also, you do have to be careful with an unscrupulous jewelers. Don't go to jewelers in the ghetto. I had a bad experience in Philly. Um, I had on a ring, which I had got from one of the shopping networks, and this was like way over 10 years ago. And it was just a silver ring with garnets. That's all. And the jeweler says, oh, can I see your ring? What's that? And I'm like, it's garnet. He didn't even look at it with the loop or anything. He goes, oh, you, those that's fake. You know, it, it's those are fake. They weren't fake. They were just really, really good garnets. Um, there's no such thing as a lab-created garnet. Like, you either have a simulant or you have a garnet. You know, it's either glass or something, or it's a garnet. <laughs> and those weren't glass, honey, you know? So, and then no jeweler will diagnose the stone as fake without even looping it. So, you have to be careful, because then he tells me it's fake, and he goes, oh, I'll buy it from you. So, it's fake, but you'll buy it from me? Right. So you have to watch out for jewelers that'll try to get your jewelry or convince you that it's not worth anything and then say, oh, I'll throw it away for you. Or, oh, I'll take it off your hands. You got to be careful. There are shady people everywhere. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this educational video. Don't throw your magnets out. Again, you can have some fun with them, you know, if you want to. But uh, yeah, magnet test is just not accurate. Sorry to burst you guys' bubble. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. The sun set, so it got dark in here. See you guys later. Bye.